Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is game user settings, the VSync enabled node. Now, with the VSync enabled node, basically it allows you to turn on and off the VSync on your customer player's monitor. VSync is the refresh rate of the monitor. It can be a variable. It could be 30 all the way up to 200-ish. The monitor I'm running on now is currently set to 144. Generally, that's the refresh rate of the monitor, how many times per second it refreshes. A lot of professional gamers prefer a higher refresh rate and not to have VSync enabled because it allows them to have better latency and they can react faster to in-game events. However, some players, and depending on the type of game, maybe if it's more cinematic like a Last of Us or something where it's not heavily action-oriented, they prefer to have VSync enabled because it'll prevent tearing and things like that when the game exceeds the frame refresh rate of your monitor. Long story short, on or off depends on the player, give them the options. Now what this does is if I was to play this, is it's going to set an upper limit for the frame rate, the refresh rate of your game, based on the settings on your monitor. Now if I was to run a stat FPS, we're going to see 60, because I currently have a set frame rate limit of 60. And I hit apply. Uh, let's change my resolution here. We're currently capped at 60. If I was to go to unlimited and hit apply, well, we're going to see 300-ish frames per second. Now if I was to turn on my VSync, and told it to hit apply, it's going to cap it to the VSync of the monitor. However, I can't really show that. I'm recording right now at 60 frames per second, which means it's going to fight with my refresh rate on my monitor between the capture program and this, and now you're seeing the frame per second bounce up and down. But the key here is VSync enabled limits it to the refresh rate of my monitor. VSync disabled limits it to whatever frame rate limit I have it set to. VSync is a cap. So if my frame rate limit is unlimited and VSync is turned on, it'll cap it at the refresh rate of the monitor for the resolution I'm running at now. If VSync is disabled, it's going to cap it at whatever your frame rate limit is. So in this case, unlimited. Or I could even do, let's say, 30 frames per second. Now VSync enabled and a frame rate limit under your VSync limit means the frame rate limit is going to win. Vertical sync is just a cap. Don't go past this limit. It's not going to change the frame rate limit. It's just saying don't go past it. So let's close this down and look at the node. Node's pretty simple. We have two of them. Get game user settings. Return value. Let's go ahead and type in vsync and we're going to find three nodes. We're ignoring the dirty node because that's a different video. We're worried about is vsync enabled and set vsync enabled. Setting the VSync enable takes in a boolean and it's true or false. Is it on or off? Simple as that. The is VSync enabled node basically returns back true or false. Is it currently enabled? So in this case here, what I'm doing is getting my game user settings, checking if VSync is enabled, and then setting the VSync enabled node. So you can see all the nodes right here and how you would use them, getting them, checking them, and setting them. And that's it. That's going to wrap up the video for the VSync enabled nodes. Remember, it is a cap, basically. It's not a limit. It's basically do not go above this if I am enabled. And it's based on the refresh rate of your monitor at the current resolution you're running.